What's up guys, it's a girl anti-social and I'm going to be doing a highly requested meeting on Quavo and Offset. This video is for entertainment purposes and if you're new, if you're new, subscribe, yes, the camera's off. I like it better that way, so just listen to my voice. Um, I did a live stream and I basically predicted that they would reunite, but it's not going to be easy. I also said that music is going to come because that's really what Takeoff wants. He wants his brothers to be brothers and he wants his legacy to continue on. So let's just see what's the energy between... Quavo and Offset, and if music is coming, this could end up being a quick reading. <coughs> what is the energy between Quavo and Offset, Spirit? <coughs> what is the energy between Quavo and Offset? <coughs> Quavo and Offset, I'm giving you guys bangers. Like I did last month, but I want to do more YouTubers. I'm gonna say that in the community. Like, give me some, give me some YouTubers to do. Let's see. But Quavo and Offset. What's the energy between Quavo and Offset? Quavo and Offset. Spirit. Quavo and Offset. Quavo and Offset. Okay, I got the Tempest card in the back of the deck. So there's balance. Either way, there's gonna be balance between them. We got the Hangman. We got the Page of Cups. Okay, Emperor card. Somebody's taking the lead, Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Chariot Guard. So, Tempest card in the back of the deck talks about balance, making amends, everything being okay. All right, so they've definitely made amends, but the Hangman, someone is trying to look at shit from someone else's perspective. Someone is waiting to officially give an offer. Page of Cups talks about someone reeling someone really in. The Emperor card talks about someone taking the lead. Eight of Cups talks about someone walking away from the past or kind of like um, scared for how this is going to go. So walking away from the idea now. So in my intuitively, I'm getting that like um, Quavo wants to work it out with Offset. Offset, he wants to work it out with Offset, but it's kind of like in the midst of it. He second guesses himself and kind of like drifts off a little bit with the Eight of Cups. Page of Pentacles talks about offset, looking at the opportunity, looking at the money, looking at what could be built. The Chair Card talks about perseverance. The Seven of Swords talks about this being talked about on the low, um, kind of like sneaky energy. Two of Pentacles talks about like trying to make this shit happen. Eight of Pentacles talks about working on it. So they could be working on um they could be working together on the low right seven of swords does talks about sneaky energy moving on the low two of pentacles does talks about okay how do we make this happen eight of pentacles talks about let's make this shit happen ten of cups so there's definitely family unity two of wands perseverance pushing not of ones enthusiastic so they're working together they're cool eight of wands stuff is gonna happen fast but we do have the tower card moment. Um, but I feel like this is more so emotional. Not really like, fuck you, fuck you. More so like tears, crying, like letting everything out. Drama happening, not within them, not between them, but between their outer worlds. And we got the four of wands. Um, family community just surrounding them. Four of pentacles talks about this shit being a secret. I feel like this is more so in terms of offset and what he got going on not really quavo you know that's the energy between them they're good right now um <laughs> can we expect music from quavo and offset i'm hearing like these two have always been the ones to clash um take off was always the chill one and that these two were the ones to clash you know is there music coming from quavo and offset this is gonna be a quick reading <laughs> is there music coming from quavo and offset take off was the person that kept it together until he just didn't give a fuck anymore. Until, you know, he didn't care and he went with whoever wanted to work or work with him, you know? Or whoever he felt like was right at the time. 
<coughs> but now that he's passed away, he looks at shit from a different standard, and he wish, he wish he would have did more to shield the bond between the two. But at the same time, these are grown ass men. <coughs> Is there music coming from Quavo and Offset? Very. Is there music coming from Quavo and Offset? Are they going to do music together? Are these two going to join forces and do music together, Derek? I got the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of betrayal. Nine of Cups, Strength Card, Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Okay. Ten of Swords, there's a lot of betrayal um, in the midst of their relationship um, with the Ten of Swords in the back of the deck. And that's something that they're going to be moving on from because the Ten of Swords also talks about like moving on, new beginnings, um, not just like betrayal. Okay, some people look at it and be like, oh, betrayal, but no, it also talks about new beginnings and moving, moving forward after that betrayal. Nine of Cups talks about contentment, um, partying. So they're okay with where they're at now. Shame Crown talks about being strong, having a strong bond, strong partnership, being strongly um, devoted to this. Page of Swords talks about talking about this in another way, but it also talks about gossip, trying to fix this in another way. So they're really just trying to fix their relationship, their brotherhood. But there is gossip about it, and they have thought about it. Six of Pentacles talks about um, them giving the public a little something, something. So if they do put out music, it's not going to be what people really want. It's going to be like a little something, something, you know? Or they could just rail people in with a little something, something. Five of Pentacles talks about them needing money, them doing it for the money, um, them needing each other emotionally. Um, before y'all even think that way, no, not that way. More so in like a brotherhood. They need to be around each other. Page of Wands talks about us hearing about this. Ace of Swords talks about it being a success. Tempest Card talks about balance. Six of Cups talks about reminiscing, it giving old times, right? So it's going to, it could be like old music, like music they already recorded. <laughs> or... It could make people feel like, okay, this is the old, you know, this is giving old Migos shit, you know? They're going to give the public something, but it's not going to be really what people want. The Judgment Card talks about redemption. The Knight of Wands talks about um, it being known, it coming out. Four of, Wands, Four of Pentacles talks about um, them keeping it to themselves for a minute. But they're definitely, they're definitely going to give something. But it's not going to be what people really, it's not going <clears> to, <throat> it's not going to be like a full album. It could be an EP. It could be a couple of songs. But it's not going to be like, okay, we giving out a, a, a album and then a deluxe album and then a, 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 no, not really. But they could head towards that. Nine of Wands talks about them being adamant that there's no Migos without um, takeoff. They don't want to do what the industry wants them to do. The industry wants them to basically, like, kind of do what TLC did. Like, okay, let's find the next Migos or, like, let's just create more albums without this person. They don't want to do that. They don't want to, you know, replace him. They, they are very strong about their fucking opinion, too. But with the Six of Wands, it talks about them, you know, keeping their head up high and being victorious. So they're going to give something, but it's not going to be what people want yet. It's just not. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, there is going to be another opportunity, right? The Three of Wands, they're going to take it. They're going to take it. So they're going to give bits and pieces. Like they could give us, they could give a song here and there and there and there until they feel like they're ready to move to the next step, right? Um, Death Card talks about metamorphosis. Five of Cups talks about them still mourning takeoff. I mean, yeah, them still mourning takeoff. And with the Six of Swords, it talks about them persevering. Um, yeah, I don't, them persevering. 
we got the Empress card. We got the Seven of Cups. We got the Ace of Wands, right? So, maybe like I say a year, two years from now, there could be an album. But until then, they're just going to give bits and pieces um, months from now. Um, or when they're ready, they're going to give bits and pieces. It could take a while for an album to come. I feel like they're both going to have a lot of shit going on, especially Offset. Um, with his marriage and everything. He's going to have a lot of shit going on. And he's going to be moving reckless, recklessly. Not really with Quavo, but more so with his wife, Cardi B. Um, yeah, but there you guys have it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and peace.